Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Control and seeing how this game performs on an older CPU like what I'm running right now. We are running an i7 6700K with an RTX 3080. So we've already tested Assassin's Creed Valhalla, we've already tested Watch Dogs Legion, we've already tested Doom Eternal, and now we're going to be testing Control as well. This game is extremely, as far as I can tell, it's extremely interesting in one sense and that's because right here as you can see this game is extremely interesting because not only does it have ray tracing inside of it but the types of ray tracing that it has is normally like shadow of the tomb raider or call of duty cold war these types of games like even battlefield and stuff and like metro exodus they only have one type of ray tracing that they have in their game they specialize in one type and like Shadow of the Tomb Raider did shadows, Metro Exodus did lighting, you know, Battlefield 5 or with 1 or whatever order they did Battlefield in, I forget. Um, it's very confusing, but what, whichever Battlefield is the newest one, they have reflections as theirs. You know, Call of Duty has, I think, uh, shadows and maybe lighting in theirs. I forget, I think it's, I think it's shadows mainly, I think. But control here has reflections, are these two. It has the indirect diffuse lighting, so it has the lighting portion, and it has contact shadows as well. So you have the reflections, the lighting, and the shadows, as well as you can have all of that on the little debris that flies everywhere too. So the high preset for ray tracing enables all of these, and it's actually quite demanding, especially at 4K here. So we are currently we are currently running the game at 1080p, but we will at some point also be testing 4K for you guys as well. We're running the game at completely highest settings, everything, because that's just what you run at, except for film grain. I don't like film grain, so I turn film grain off. But uh, but yeah, we're also gonna be maybe testing out NVIDIA DLSS, but that's only if we need to though. That's only if we need to. We might just look at it just because, you know, a lot of people want to see what DLSS looks like and how it runs. Um, so maybe if our 4K numbers are really low, we'll try to boost them up a little bit by enabling DLSS. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this game here and uh, and just see how it runs at 1080p maximum settings with ray tracing on high as well. No DLSS. So let's just go ahead and jump in and see how this goes. All right, guys, we are currently in game here. Once again, running at 1080p maximum settings with ray tracing on high and no DLSS. And this game is freaking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I love the way that the like the the panels over here have the oh, just the beautiful reflections and the way they can just jam pack every little object with detail, too. We don't seem to be running that uh, that bad right now. We're in the 80s and 90s as of right now. We're in the 80s and 90s with ray tracing on high at 1080p. We're using a honestly a really high amount of ram right now oh you know over 15 gigabytes of of ram um but only five gigabytes of video ram which or video memory you know vram which isn't that bad actually compared to watchdogs legions that's like my new mental benchmark is comparing everything to watchdogs legion and how that game runs because that game was that game was maxing out our um 10 gigabytes of vram at 1080p but we are all we're actually using under 50% of our CPU, which for this kind of a CPU in a modern game is actually really good. We're averaging about what 35 to 40 F or not, not FPS, um, 35 to 40% CPU usage, which isn't that bad at all. We're using all of our GPU, which is good. You do actually want to see that. That means the game is fully utilizing our over the top complete beefy GPU, which is fantastic. Going into this this room here, we'll start meleeing stuff. Little frame drop there as things explode. But this game is absolutely stunning, man. The reflections, the shadowing on things, everything is just absolutely amazing. And I, I'm really impressed by this game visually. I really am. But not running that bad, actually. Not running that bad at all. Um, with ray tracing on high, like I said before, at 1080p. 
Um, we can go ahead and break some more stuff out here. Maybe get some some of those little bits flying everywhere. Some of the concrete stuff. Just just really try to flex that that ray tracing as much as we can with as much of the debris as we can. Because remember, we have the debris ray tracing on as well, which this game is just beautiful. The destructible environments looks amazing. And we're actually not... Yeah, this game is not flexing our CPU or... Well, okay, we're using 100% of our GPU, but it's running at like 80s and 90s for FPS. So it's not even really running that bad. Like it's fully playable. We don't even need to add DLSS into this right now. Uh, but I do want to see what this game will look like if we turn uh, if we turn the ray tracing off. All right, so we turned ray tracing all the way off, and we're now at the 134, 100 and, well, actually, yeah, 134, 135 FPS mark, which is, okay, that is a pretty big difference between ray tracing on and ray tracing off. But even though, like, I'm someone who plays on a 1080p 144 hertz monitor, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that bad getting 80 or 90 FPS with ray tracing on because ray tracing makes it looks freaking stunning. It still looks beautiful without it. You can definitely tell on things like this, this wooden paneling here that uh, the ray tracing makes it look a little more, just there's a little more detail to it because with ray tracing off, the circular white lights are just a white bar. So there's no like just circles going down the panel in the reflection. It's just a white bar. So and all of the shading has changed and everything looks still good, but a little just, I don't know, less impressive than it did before, which you would expect by turning ray tracing off. But you're you're getting 120 FPS, 130 FPS without ray tracing. So it is. Uh, let's go ahead and break some stuff and see how this how it changes if it does by just actually having things flying around, being all chaotic and stuff. It seems to be handling it pretty well. Like, it's freaking butter smooth. Ray tracing off, right? At 1080p, you're getting 120 FPS, 130 FPS. But with ray tracing on, I actually wouldn't mind playing with ray tracing on, getting 80 or 90 FPS. That's, that's fully playable to me. And... We have to compare it to Black Ops Cold War, one of the last uh, brand new games that we tested with ray tracing. And that game, you had a similar experience where you gained a lot of FPS by turning ray tracing off. But I feel like Black Ops Cold War was significantly less optimized than this, where in Black Ops Cold War, you would turn ray tracing off and you would go from 60 FPS to 140. Like it was a very drastic change in your FPS where th this is still a drastic change but it's you're only gaining maybe like 40 but in Black Ops Cold War if you were getting 60 or 70 you were then getting 120 or 140 you were doubling your FPS where in this game you're only going to get like an extra you know 40 which 40 is a huge chunk but gotta give it to him gotta give it to him man that is impressive all right, so let's go ahead and turn ray tracing back on and uh, and just go ahead and inspect some of these other parts of this level here. All right, so ray tracing is back on. It is at the high setting once again. We can start shooting stuff, breaking stuff, flipping stuff around. We're back to the 80 FPS range in this, which is, again, not that bad at all. I would honestly, like, if I ever do a playthrough of this game, which I do plan on doing at some point, I will probably enable ray tracing and just play this game at 80 or 90 FPS. Um, and again, this is on an older CPU as well, so who knows how well a 5950X would perform uh, in this game. And again, even if we look at the small details, this game is absolutely stunning. So you could play it without ray tracing, but you would be missing out on a lot of the small details, like the reflections in the wood paneling wouldn't be as accurate, and that's just... To me, it's the little details that just add up and make this such a gorgeous experience. Just shooting the wall, get some debris falling down. Alright, so let me see if I can find... Aha, here we go. I wanted to find a bigger area with more debris that I could just start rampaging in and see what we... You know, see what happens if we just start flipping desks and stuff like that. Just get that melee going, just breaking thing. Oh, that's just so cool. Seen we're still in the 90 FPS range too. 
We actually have some AI. What's well, a few people, but still AI. All right, so I think I want to go ahead and turn ray tracing off in this mode and start breaking things, and uh, and we'll see how it performs in this area um, with ray tracing off. All right, so ray tracing is off now. And again, we're back into the 120s, 130s. Butter smooth, no DLSS. It's not even struggling. It's not even struggling, like at all. You know, like it's not even gonna struggle at all with this game. As you can see though, we're still only using like 40% of our CPU. Like this game is not really that taxing on the CPU at all, which is a good thing to see. This is an example of a game that isn't being bottlenecked in the slightest by by an older CPU. You would definitely be getting more on a newer CPU, but at this like an older CPU is not going to bottleneck your experience at all. It's not going to lessen or worsen the experience because you have an older CPU. Like, you're still going to get 80 or 90 FPS at 1080p uh, with full ray tracing on. Or if you just don't want ray tracing in, then you can turn that off and you almost double your FPS. You go from 80 to like 120, 130. So you gain a significant chunk of FPS back if you just don't want ray tracing. So, all right. So that is actually, I think, going to do it for the 1080p portion of this video. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. We're going to switch over to 4K. I'm going to upscale the UI. So if you guys are wondering what I use to measure my stuff, that is the Riva Tuner. Uh, overlay in the top left corner um, but I'm gonna over I'm gonna upscale that so it's a little bit bigger on 4k and we're gonna jump back in and see how this game runs at 4k all right guys we are back in the game we are at 4k as you guys can see here we are running the game fully 4k maxed out settings as we were before with ray tracing on high so this game actually I have to give it credit because some of the games I've tested at 4k as you guys may know I run a 1080p 144 hertz monitor so when i go to 4k sometimes games have a bit of an issue with like downscaling the 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 actual game window here and everything like that like sometimes it has an issue stretching it to my actual monitor size but this game has no issue it just said okay and just ran with it and i gotta give it credit because assassin's creed valhalla that was a nightmare that was a real big pain in the butt to get that to run uh, at 4k on my monitor so this game it just took it and ran with it and said okay so let's go ahead and jump into the game and see how we run at 4k all right guys we are in game here and i also forgot to mention uh that i'm actually running this game in direct x 12 mode you have an option between direct x 11 and direct x 12 so i chose direct x 12 because it is the newest version but as you can see here 4K maxed out settings with all ray tracings on. We are at 30 frames per second using 25 to 30 percent of our CPU. Our CPU usage has dropped, which is actually just what I expected because we're not pushing as many frames. So our CPU does not have to work as hard to produce as many frames. But uh, let's start breaking some stuff and see what happens if we get some debris to fly around and just break things. Yeah, it's dropping into the 20s, man. Almost the mid 20s just to just break and stuff. Flinging some debris around. Definitely a drop in performance. We'll have to see if uh, if uh, DLSS can save us in this mode here. Cuz 4K 30 isn't exactly ideal, but again, we have to take into consideration that this game uses all three types of ray tracing at the same time. So it's not just reflection, it's not just the lighting, or just the shadows. It's all three of those at the same time. So that's a, that's an interesting thing to note about this game. But uh, let's go ahead and enable DLSS. Actually, no. Before we turn on DLSS, let's just turn off ray tracing and see what our, what our frame rate skyrockets do. Alright, so we now have ray tracing off, and we are sitting at about the mid-40s, about 45 to 50 FPS, with ray tracing off at 4K, which... That's not terrible. 40 to 50 FPS with all three types of ray tracing on? That is not actually that terrible. I will... I will give them credit. I fully expected it to not change much at all, which... <laughs> only like 10 FPS isn't that much, but I mean still. Still beautiful though. Still absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I think I think it's about time we turn on that DLSS mode and see uh, 
see if that can save us here. We'll actually turn DLSS on and we'll turn ray tracing back onto high and see if we can see if we can fiddle with some settings to get this to run like 4K 60 FPS with ray tracing on. Okay. All right, guys. So here we are in the main menu here. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that we have ray tracing back on high. We are running the game at 4K, but we have DLSS on running the game internally at 1440p. So just a little bit of a downscale to see how 1440p helps us. Let's go ahead and see. All right, so here we are with 1440p internal resolution with DLSS ray tracing on high still. And uh, I got to say, like... Resolution wise, you know how DLSS can sometimes look a bit blurry depending on how it's implemented like with Watch Dogs Legion That was a really bad implementation of of DLSS, but in this one not that bad Again, it might look better and or worse for you guys in the recording because I am Downscaling this to a 1080p monitor. So I'm not I might not be able to uh, to either appreciate or realize the the true quality of of this this actual gameplay here but uh on my end looks pretty good and we're getting about 50 fps already just by going to 1440p uh with 4k ray tracing on so just by turning on dlss to 1440p we've already just we've already gone into the 50s almost so uh let's see what happens if we lower that down to like 1080p or something like that let's see what happens all right guys here we are running the game at 4k maximum settings ray tracing on high but this time we are running dlss at an internal resolution of 1080p so it's upscaling four times it's four times the resolution here which is freaking crazy and it still doesn't look that bad actually and we're in the 70 fps range like that's that's crazy let's start breaking some stuff see if we get some physics going or something like that's not that's pretty good actually in the 70s that's not bad let's go ahead and, and advance in this little corridor here and see if we can see if we can get the fps to drop a little bit see if it's if it's stable at, at like 60 or 70 or if it's a fluctuating 60 or 70 depending on the area it looks to be stable though we are back up to using 40% of our cpu though but that's because we're basically running it at 1080p so we're back to using 40% of our of our CPU to actually run this game again. So it's not really surprising. Um, it's just now trying to upscale that to 4K, which is... It's doing a pretty good job. At least on my monitor here. Um, trying to upscale that 4K up to or down to 1080p. It's doing a pretty decent job at it on my, on my end. But, uh, wow. Here, let's see what this... Let's see what this area runs like without any dlss on all right so now we're in this office area without dlss so just running native 4k with ray tracing on high and uh breaking stuff is definitely yeah definitely in the 30s again so definitely in the 30s at 4k with ray tracing on high and no dlss but if you enable dlss you, you drop it down to 1080p, and I actually don't think that would be that bad. I don't think so. I mean, heck, you could even turn the DLSS up to, um, like, 1440p internal resolution and uh, get about 40 to 50 FPS. And even that, I would be, I would be okay with, personally. Uh, to have 4K with ray tracing on, on high? Yeah, I'd be okay with 50 FPS at 4k that isn't that bad but if you need that solid 60 fps at 4k or as much frames as you can get you can definitely bump it down to 1080p and and get that that smooth 70 or 80 fps as well all right now i want to see what what uh this game can do if we turn off ray tracing but enable dlss at 4k i want to see how that runs all right so here we are we are in game running at 4k internal resolution is only 1440p with dlss on and no ray tracing and we're in the almost the 80s right now we're in the 80s so yeah if you want to run 4k without ray tracing but you want that like as high as possible turn off ray tracing and you get like <laughs> you get in the 70s and 80s which is very impressive 
we can start kicking some some physics around and see how it drops. Get some of those particles going. It is it is holding steady in the 60s, man. No micro stutters. It's a smooth experience, man. That's awesome. These numbers are very just linear. You can see that, you know, at 4K, we use like 25% of our CPU. At 1440p, we use about 35%. And then at 1080p, we use about 45%. So it's a very, it's just a very like linear growth you can just track. Like you can just assume what the frame rate would be and what the percentage of CPU usage would be. And it's, it's pretty impressive what they've done here. This is a really good test. I'm really liking it so far. But I think that will go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I went ahead and switched back to the true native 4K with full ray tracing on so we can enjoy all the beautiful, beautiful graphics as we end off this video. But uh, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me if you guys did that. Um, also, my Twitch link is in the description, so if you guys want to come hang out and chat with me on Twitch whenever I go live, feel free to do that as well, and I will go ahead and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for hanging out. Like the video if you guys liked the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, guys.